Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill. And looks like we have a new tanks added to the bone store. So I believe what we can do, we can quickly check out the vehicles overall in the bone store. And I am going to say a couple of sentences to every single vehicle, especially for a tier 10s and tier 8s, because this is the vehicles which people should think about buying, right? Um, and I believe we can briefly talk about them. And after that, we will play uh, three games or two games, probably two games with a Fosh 155, which is kind of meme vehicle, right? Anyways, let's start everything with M60, which is uh, an old tank speaking about the bone store. It is worst version of the Leo 1, period. Do not buy it, it's not worth it, unless you are a tank collector and you don't care about your bonds. Moving on next, 1 to 1B. It is pretty much um, Chinese 140 with better alpha damage and <coughs> I would say better gun handling but with a bit lower of the gun depression if I am not mistaken. All in all this tank is burning but this tank has laser accuracy and 350 alpha, uh, heat uh, um, penetration so that's nice. Um, Fava. Barbecue tank, you will burn so many times with this vehicle, you will, you can instantly put shashlik into your tank uh, and you can prepare for some fires. Uh, one trick pony, only gun is good, everything else is shit, at least in my opinion. Fosh 155, the memester tank, at least in my humble opinion, and overall if you want to dig deeper into the tanks, uh, remember to use index page for that, everything is updated apart the... Um, Heavy tanks, currently we are working on that. So just simply Google skill for L2 index and you will find it easily. So Fosh 155, this vehicle has three shots in the magazine, 750 alpha damage, five seconds between the shells. Um, everything sounds kind of good, but it's not. The platform of this vehicle is not great and the accuracy of this tank is laughable. It is disgusting. So that's why this vehicle is not that great. And in fact, it's rated, it, this, this tank has a lowest rating overall out of the tank destroyers. Honestly, even Jack Pizda is better than this vehicle is. Uh, it truly is, fellas. Although a lot of people are memeing with this tank with a high explosives. Um, Black Dog. Black Dog is a good tank in my opinion. It sucks at spotting compared to the light tank standards, but this vehicle has amazing gun and amazing high explosive um, penetration. So um, this, is, this tank is awesome. And obviously the DPM is also very, very good. So you are like a medium tank or big light tank in a way but you have a gun which you can use now right after this tank we are getting a shit luck shit luck is pretty much other version of the black dog uh it is one of the better british light tanks overall uh speaking about the mtv for example or gusor uh it is one of the better british light tanks it has a nice dpm and it has uh, actually it has okay gun it has nice dpm it has good alpha damage speaking about the high explosives but black dog is stronger um speaking about about the gun handling and uh, gun wise um, DPM and so on so on and shit like is a bit better spotter so if you want to get something in between maybe it's not that bad of idea right moving on next M41D this is a Chinese bulldog um, it got recently added into the store and I can tell you one thing it is not bad tank fellas the gun of this tank is absolutely amazing but uh, it is not a very good spotter. You have the same problem like with a black dog. So in my humble opinion, black dog is kind of better than M41D. Although once again, gun handling, mm -hmm. It is very, very nice. In other words, if you like the American Bulldog, you might like this vehicle as well. Moving on next, we have Schmutz, aka one of the version of the mods. Um, this tank has okay gun, uh, this tank has nice high explosive penetration, but this is where the story is ending. You need to play with this vehicle kind of safe, Aka, you need to be kind of a sniper schnitzel if I can say so, and it can be big pain in the ass, and plus if you want to snipe, why wouldn't you play with a scorpion or any other tank destroyer in a way. Guard. Guard is pretty much like a object 416, uh, but different. Skill, you told us so much information. I know, right? But all in all, guard is for real. It's like... Um it is like a 416 bucket. Both of those tanks have the same shape. This tank has a bit more armor and a big better um, turret armor overall, right? Uh, but 
it is for me it is a big pain in the ass to play with it feels just awkward rear mounted turret you cannot trust the gun handling you cannot trust armor and once again it has kind of sniper schnitzel gameplay unless you are playing against the lower tiers so uh, that's about it uh I'm not a big fan of this vehicle. Moving on next, uh, Patton Kier, completely outdated tank. I like this tank, but I think uh, no one should uh, spend their bones on it. End of the story. Uh, it's average at best uh, in most of the cases, plus alpha damage is kind of low, bad high explosives, no armor, quite slow, not good. Um, T-34 slash 3. Now this is a very very interesting tank and the main reason why am I saying interesting tank because this tank has um, good profile honestly. Profile of this vehicle is not that bad. You have a decent armor for a medium tank but the gun oh boy oh boy this gun made me cry so many times. So um, if you don't mind to be trolled by the gun for uh, once in a while, maybe this is not a bad tank. But keep in mind, this tank is Chinese vehicle, so the gun depression can uh, can be a problem. Esterva 81 Aka, how is it called? Um, wait a second. Esterva 81, there is Primo Victoria. Oh, you see, fellas, I, I was rusty for a moment. Um, Primo Victoria. Not good tank, simply outdated, uh, 230 alpha damage, not great, armor, not reliable, simply do not buy this tank. And in fact, just for shits and giggles, I am pretty sure, speaking about this tank, this tank is um, pretty much one of the worst vehicles in the game, speaking about the win ratio wise. Uh, if you would pay attention, tier 8 medium tank, uh, and now we are seeing the win ratio wise, this tank, obviously from the premium tanks, this tank is one of the worst win ratio wise as a premium tank. Just simply do not look into this vehicle and don't think about it. It's just not worth uh, your uh, bones. IS-6. I lately played a lot with IS-6 and in some games I thought, I love this tank. Um, the armor can actually work, but gun in some games treated me like a big pile of poop. Uh, in other words, in one game I can snapshot everyone, I can beat the living crap out of everyone, and in some game I am just taking one for the team, which is sad. All and all, easy tank to play with. Another problem is obviously penetration. Uh, cover 5. A lot of a lot of memesters loves this tank, but this vehicle has obviously weak spots in front. Um, but it is quite funny tank to play for many people because of the ramming ability. Um, that can be fun, right? And because of the gun. Gun uh, has 300 alpha or 320 alpha and it has quite a nice DPM. But once again, low penetration, so I do not really think you are going to make a lot of credits with it. IS-5. In my humble opinion, this is worse tank than IS-6. Uh, on the paper it might look better, but it is such a junk speaking about the gun handling wise. I, I have a hate for this vehicle and I do not recommend to get uh, this one for yourself, honestly. Um, cover 4 Kreslevsky, in my opinion, one of the better picks which you can take. Uh, the main reason why, because this tank got buffed some time ago, maybe one year ago or so. Uh, it has a nice uh, gun, it has a nice gold ammunition, 289mm of penetration if I'm not mistaken, and it has quite a bit of armor, especially against the lower tiers. And even though if you are bottom tier, you can actually snipe with this tank, which is weird. Chrysler GF, uh, good against the lower tiers, but overall he has a low penetration, which is a big pain in the ass in my humble opinion and you cannot really trust armor against the higher tiers either right so you are you are having eh, eh, quite a quite a bad vehicle overall at least in my opinion although quite easy tank to play with right you can side scrap you can go in front against the lower tiers and so on um Patriot, I do not really think this tank needs a presentation. At one time it was better a vehicle speaking. Comparing to the T-32, obviously this time is over. And a lot of people are thinking this tank is not that great vehicle nowadays. All in all, low alpha damage, but very low cost of ammunition. So you can make quite a bit of the credits. But if you do not really like the low alpha damage tanks, this is not the way to go. Liberty, extremely easy tank to play with, but the same problem. Um, gun handling is quite um, kaku 
and when I say that I truly mean it and in the same time armor is not working against the higher tiers against the lower tiers you are feeling great but um, against the higher tiers it's not that great that cupola will screw you over against the lower tiers Alpine Tiger one of the better looking tanks in the game but in reality um, ISX is better why so because Alpine Tiger gun handling is horrible and the tank is not that great although speed is quite nice uh, view range is quite nice but the gun is screwing the tank up quite a bit um, trash 103 one of the better picks as wrong as it sounds and the main reason being is because this tank has a great dpm uh, although as a tank destroyer you are not that great at sniping overall and you are not that great at uh, uh, camo but if you are going to play like a heavy tank with this vehicle this could work well especially whenever you are playing hold down um, Overall speaking about the lower tiers, IS2, S, over, first of all, lower tiers are not worth it for credit grind because they are lower tiers and they are not going to make that much credits. Uh, IS2, uh, it's pretty much the same like IS, but it makes credits. If you love IS, you will probably like IS2. Uh, Panzer, shielded, slow SF, good gun handling, that's about it. Uh, Tiger 131, nice alpha damage, 220 for a tier 6, that's pretty nice. But other than that, everything is kind of... Pfft. At least in my opinion, armor can work against the lower tiers, but if you will meet tier, uh, tier 7s, tier 8s, you, they will shred you like hot knife through the butter and you can stick the tiger, you know. Uh, somewhere. Panzer Hydrostat, um, I don't have anything to say about this vehicle, pretty much useless in my opinion. Uh, tier 5s for making credits are just bad. Uh, T-34S, same thing, it's, it's supposed to be better version or shielded version of the T-34 which is so loved by community, but uh, in reality it is just a pile of junk in my opinion. And um, Tier 5 M10, this tank is one of the better tanks in the Tier 5, but once again, why why would you get this vehicle for yourself when you can get a tier 8? Even bad tier 8 Alpine Tiger will make so much more credits than M10. That's the answer to your question. But all in all, uh, okay speed, uh, okay gun, uh, everything is fine with it. Uh, it is not a bad vehicle by any means, but once again, I do not recommend to get it. Now, when we have this out of the way, uh, let's start our journey with Fosh 155. I want to play two games with this vehicle and uh, let's hope for the best fellas. Fingers crossed, let's teleport into the action and we are back okay fellas this is the problem which we are facing Fosh 155 now first things first there is two options how to play with this tank high explosives or hits AP ammunition you you shouldn't shoot APs because it's just simply not worth it fellas it it is truly not worth it I can see baboon with PP raised um, looking into all of this, everything would look fine speaking about the average penetration and shell velocity is slow for a tank destroyer. Uh, penetration with a gold, 400 or close to 400, this is so much better than 300, let's get real. And you have the same uh, shell velocity. So, you know, it's just, there is no other better way to play with this vehicle than just to load uh, um, the heats and just shred everyone like hot knife through the butter. This is the best way to do the things, at least in my humble opinion. Meanwhile, we have Arta who is sniping from somewhere over there. I would guess he's right there. I could try... Oh, no, I am wrong. I mean, one of the Artas could be here. Hmm. Interesting. How are you doing? Bam. Beautiful. 700. Nice, nice, nice. More of the shots like this, pretty please. Enemy Fava is more likely dead. I do not really think he will be able to do anything. And in this kind of situation, we are trying to craft a decent angle for um, this object. Once again, not ideal, but we will try to do everything what we can. And oh boy, look at this alpha damage. 885. I need to buy a lottery ticket instantly after this. Okay, if I'm going to hit this blind shot towards the Atarta, I'm going to the store instantly to buy a lottery ticket. No lottery ticket for me. Oh well. What can I say? Well, I will save some money, I guess. Okay, so two out of... Um, uh, two out of three is very, very decent score for this vehicle. I should be extremely happy about this. And I should... <coughs> and I should say hip hip hooray honestly this is how it looks like and I should be happy about this and I am honestly 
to get couple of the penetrations at first that's good but once again i really want to highlight this the hits or the high explosives is the way to go if you are memeing around if you are a memester yourself sure thing high explosives is the way to go if you care about a bit more competitive gameplay whenever you have such a long reload such a, ling a long reload between the shells and when your gun handling is not that great um, you know you need to maximize every tiny ability and opportunity to get some more use because if you won't do that you are going to cry in the corner um, because you simply won't be able to get absolutely anything for yourself and that's important thing to say now speaking about this game we are sitting well speaking about our team we are winning this battle by quite a humongous margin so in this situation we are just going to make a pressure for the e100 plus on top of that the c100 just fired so what that means that means we are aiming for a lower plate and we are going to say hello for him he is not very happy but it is his problem and that was quite bad shot by me but that's okay and let's get another one beautiful very very nice two out of three it's very good i missed one shot and i'm accepting the full responsibility for being a silly goose uh, that was my fault uh, to miss that shot right um, once again I cannot complain about this now overall uh, score 11 to 3 nothing to change nothing to do uh, there is we cannot research a bicycle if I can say so and at this point this is as much as we are going to get our Fosh killed the 100 and Bobject is going to die for other uh, teammate that's fair uh, I'm happy with this let's uh, let's teleport to the scoreboard and we are back 3000 damage spamming full gold that's okay we are a uh, seventh by experience we are third by the damage which is very very good considering uh, how the game was looking like aka 15 to 3 uh, that's completely fine and all in all we lost 10,000 credits that's understandable and this is what we can expect round number two let's go okay uh round number two so we have a city map yeah that's fair I can tell you one thing, this vehicle is going to have the best games in the city map, at least in my opinion. The main reason being is because you want to get close to simply clip your opponent down. This is how it goes, this is how it works. So what we are going to do, we are going to be very aggressive into the city. We will go in and we will try to fully clip the first victim for ourselves. Um, that's how we are going to do the things. And I think this is only one way how we can do the things overall. So let's go. Now, speed wise, turbo is definitely helping for this vehicle quite a bit. Obviously, you can, instead of using turbo, you can use the rotation mechanism or improve it or, or, or um, gun link drives to aim a bit quicker, which can be very, very legit option for this vehicle. But I decided to go for turbo for this video. Uh, and the main reason why, because I was too lazy to switch equipment pieces. Don't be mad on me. Anyways, so what do we want to do now? We are about to reach the position from where we want to play and at this point I want to say hello for enemy light tanks. So this is a one light tank who is saying ay 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 ay. We will try to spank the Ferrari now. Unfortunately we are not spanking Ferrari but that's okay. And now we are aiming for other shot. Whenever he will turn we will try to pre-aim towards him but unfortunately I am failing. That's okay. 40 seconds left and we can do some bad things for enemies. But to be completely honest with you I am not feeling so comfortable as I did before I arrived to this position that much honestly. I'm not feeling that comfortable at this point. Although looking into all of this T57 is making a bit of pressure like this. That's okay. Um. He met a beautiful, beautiful friend, 60dp. Once again, uh, it doesn't look great, but we have some some more forces coming this way. So maybe it's not going to be that bad. Five seconds left. And I think we could actually be very, very aggressive against this IS-7. When I'm thinking about this, we can go aggressively. IS-7 is thinking about side scrapping, it doesn't work against the 400 millimeters of penetration if obviously I'm hitting where I am aiming to, beautiful and one more, 
All we need, we need one more and we are going to be fine. So you can see I can hit him relatively easily. All I need to do, I need to hit where I am aiming to and I need to go back. So at this point I am definitely relying on our guys to penetrate him. Um, we have two badgers over there, we have TIE 5 heavy tank, we are feeling relatively fine. All we need to do, we need to keep up this position and we need to pretty much wait until um, until he will get slaughtered or, or until I am going to fully reload, right? Because this should be um, relatively easy for us. And at this point, once again, we are waiting. We are being patient, fellas. We are being patient. For 30 you grill for what? Mm-hmm, okay, enemy EBR is trying to spank me, he did that successfully, good for him, he's doing everything properly and probably he's spotting uh, um, me all the time, so once again in this kind of situation, I just simply can't do anything, that being said, I am going to relocate completely, I think it is about the time to simply say see ya, and to approach the this game a bit differently. I lost half of, I'm, of my hit points, which is obviously not that great, but in the same time it is how it is. And now we need to figure out how we can um, punish enemy forces. Uh, they have a health uh, they have a um, budget and they have 430 you trying to cap the base. This is going to be a bit of the problem. I think only one way how we can play this game successfully is we are going like this and we are trying to simply clip them out like there is no tomorrow. I think this is only one way how we can be um, successful in this kind of situation. So let's do this. And you see I am not only one who is thinking this way, but chat one to one, was, uh, enemies have no hope at this point. At this point we can go in front. Yeah, at this point we need to go. Meanwhile, Bacha trying to hit him on the move, beautiful shot. Uh, meanwhile, we see Progetto in the open field. What we need to do, since we are having hit ammunition, we need to um, we need to try to find a bit better angle, trying to spank him. Beautiful shot with all honesty. I think I am a bit lucky in the end of the day, but once again, I can appreciate that. And now we are going to eliminate the 430U just like so. Nice. Currently, I'm going to load high explosive ammunition. The main reason being is because they have Fava and Grille which are not spotted. And Fava and Grille are yummy, 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 yum. Both of them are very tasty and both of them are politely asking for us to penetrate them. 1100 alpha damage from a shot, that's huge. That's actually huge. I hope our budget will eliminate this Progetto, beautiful, and Leo1 is sitting over there. Budget should be dead by the Grilla, at least that's what I want to believe and that's uh, what I guess. Uh, indeed it is the case and now this Leopard, he might try to make a bit of pressure like this. So we are going to be prepared for that. If he is going in, he is going to regret his life choices and he is going to get slaughtered. Um, but in this situation we are waiting very very patiently fellas. Um, I'm even going to take the lower part over there just like so. Um, and I will stick around this area. Minus 5000 hit points, that doesn't look juicy, that doesn't look good. And Grille and Fava, both of them are probably sitting around this area over there. Once again, big problem. Actually, was I said where Grille is? F4. F4, yeah, you see? Uh, Grille is farming together with this Fava. This platoon in total have 6 kills already, so what can I say, lucky mother truckers fellas, lucky mother truckers, that's what we can say, how to get one more clip, how to get one more clip, this is the question, I am waiting until I am going to get spotted by this Leo, if he is pushing in front we, he will spot us and if he will spot us then you know I have only one uh, way to do the things and this is to make pressure in front and just you know um, hope for the best and try to uh, clip him out, that's only one thing what I can do. Now Grille as well. He can go like this if he was over there or alternatively he can try to make a pressure like this or even like this. Which would be lovely and it would be absolutely amazing but once again I wish to say everything would be that simple and everything would be that easy. Unfortunately it is not the case fellas. 
I still want to get one more clip. That's what I want to do, fellas. One more clip. Am I asking too much? This high explosive clip could be a game changer overall. In a very, very good way. Two tank destroyers never ever been spotted. Eight minutes into the game. Ay, 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 ay. Badger is making much, much, much pressure, as you can see yourself. Badger is dead. Good play by our 50B. Very nice. But once again, we cannot get too involved here. We need to be smart. Fawai is sitting here. Now we know where Fawai is. Good. We know where Fawai is. And we know where Leo is. Okay, so in this kind of situation, I think I am going to make pressure like so. Um, and hopefully we will see Grille. If we will see Grille, Grille is dead. If we are not going to see the Grille, it's not changing absolutely anything. Grille is here, beautiful. Shot in the gun. He is naughty, he wants it. But he changed his mind, good for us. Hi. Unfortunate. Let's go. I'm going to go for ramming here. I'm going to build some speed. Hopefully we can. Uh, hopefully we can ram him or uh, or spank him very very hardly. That's the plan. That's the hope. That's the dream. Unfortunately, no penetration doesn't really change anything. Now Grille is thinking about his life choices, and we are thinking about our life choices. Grille is thinking about his life choices. We are thinking about our life choices. We are going for ramming. We are sticking our gun into his gun. Grille is complaining about his um, his performance and his aim, but that's completely fine, fellas. My uh, my father is saving me from from the disaster. This is how the things are looking like. Trying to stick my gun into his gun, failing uh, quite a bit. That's that's a shame, but it is how it is. I should be able to kill him in uh, two seconds if I won't fail. I didn't. Beautiful. I fully reloaded and we killed him. Arta incoming. I can hear that. Leo is running like this, trying to hit him. 1,100. And we are done. Oh, the end game. Oh, yo, 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 the end game. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, we missed a couple of shots to the grill. Yeah, shit happens. Um, sometimes life can show you a big fat middle finger. But other than that, in the end of the day, we managed to survive 40 seconds while reloading. We penetrated Leo for 1.1 thousand. We penetrated Grille for 1 thousand. Um, F me backwards, fellas. I'm feeling happy with this performance and uh, the second game game was obviously the finest and the best game overall. So, 6.2 thousand damage, great, we are top by experience, we are top by the damage, I honestly do not know how I could play differently here, this EBR spot at 5,000, good for him, very good play, he fed the grill and he fed the um, Fava, obviously that was, that's, that was uh, from where he got this much of assisting damage, and all in all we lost 26,000 credits, well, what can you do? All in all, our performance with this vehicle after two games, is 4.7 thousand damage uh, but I was very very lucky in the last game uh, this tank is not that good and this tank is not worth that much I can promise you that I was just simply lucky nothing more than that anyways thank you very much for watching I hope you had a great time and I hope you enjoyed yourself remember we made index page to help you if you need some uh, um, help overall, equipment setup, your field modifications, you name it, index page is the place to go. Uh, and if you want to get more content of skill, remember I am live streaming on Twitch and in the same time we are having the skill for L2 extra channel. So you can get plenty of entertainment for yourself. And for now, thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Skill is out for today. Peace. Brrr.